uh, 33 points, got to the free throw line a lot. She was able to do her job. But unfortunately, defensively, they weren't able to get out in transition, and we'll talk about that later. But Nitty Lions, they were able to shoot from anywhere and everywhere, and that's going to be the main focus today. And we'll reset instead. Bryant takes it herself, finds Hobby down low. Beautiful pass between Bryant to Hobby, and that gives the Illini a 10-point lead. Yeah, everything that Coach Green talked to us in the pregame is coming into fruition here early on. You know, perfect five for five, but defensively a great performance as well so far. Mm. Brent Hill alone was a reason Illinois was still in that game in Lincoln. Genesis Bryant from the corner, and it connects. And in that game against Nebraska, Season high, 34 minutes in those 14 points off the bench. Jillian Herter from the corner for three, and that's a big one for the Scarlet Knights. They needed that one. Nittany Lions hits her first shot of the day today, so certainly a nice sign for Coquise Washington. And now Rutgers has gone back into man. Great find there for Bostic. Thank you for that, Peter. You saw Genesis Bryant hit a two-pointer on the other end there to start. The second quarter, and then Maya Petticord answers right away with a three of her own. Yeah, all set up by Maya Petticord there. You know, she comes down, hits a three. That opens up the defense. They're going to move up to respect that three ball, and then she's able to find Cornwall down low. But cannot hit the jump shot. She had a defender leak off her for a second, but tried to take advantage of the fact she was open, could not. Petticord hits a contested three, and that nearly looked like it could have been an and one, too. Only cut the lead to 13, but now Illinois, thanks to Gretchen Dolan, makes it 15 again. Lafayette wide open for three, and she takes advantage. Double screen. She gets around it. Goes up with the right herself, and does a little pump fake to get over Kendall Bosick. Nice take there from Maya Petticord. Bryant trying to create spacing. Could not find Bosick down low, and she gets the jump shot to fall, and one. It was good ball movement by the Illini, just could not cash in on the open opportunity. Herder, open for three herself, count it. 10 point game once again. Illinois currently at 62%, Rutgers at 47%. Adams down low, working on Shoop Hill, goes up at the left, blocked by Shoop Hill. But Adams gets it back and cannot finish, he gets it back again, goes up and one. Even though Bryant just hit that shot, Rutgers is still outscoring Illinois by seven points. Nice move there from Petticord, and she connects with a jump shot. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Makaira Cook hesitates, goes up the left, forces it up. Hobby got the rebound, goes up with the left herself, and one. Nice take from Camille Hobby. Talking about led the Big Ten in rebounding both each of the last two seasons. As the shot from Herter, no good. McKenzie looks to drive it on. Bates and one. Nice take from Adalia McKenzie. Bryant, thought about it. Bostic takes a three, connects! Kendall Bostic, count it! In this stanza. Adams is open, did not decide to shoot the three. Goes up with the right hand and causes the foul. 15 point lead for Illinois. 69 to 54, Bryant contested two pointer, count it! Genesis Bryant. Inching closer and closer to conference win number two. Bryant, open, doesn't connect. Shoop Hill gets the offensive rebound and puts it in herself. Nice work there from Brent Shoop Hill to keep the ball alive as Hobby puts one up at the end of the shot clock. Well, it was a little strong. Illinois still up 25 as Petticord drives on Cameron Rhodes, and that was a nice take there from Maya Petticord. Being such a great scorer and playmaker, a lot of potential with her right now. Cameron Rhodes open for three. She takes it and connects. Count it for three. 13 minutes of game time, but has not found the scoring category yet. It's over two. Both those shots from three as Erica Lafayette knocks one down from deep. Just under three to play in the game. Bolin open on the baseline, hits it out to Gretchen Dolan. Bolin to Dolan. That's a fun one to say. The one win for Illinois before they got upended by the Maryland Terrapins. As Destiny Adams got points number 24 and 25 on the other end, and Corey Allen will pick up an M1 opportunity here. You're taking care of the bottom of the conference after losing that one here to Wisconsin, their last home game. As Bolin will not be scoreless in this one. She also hits a three. We're down at halftime by only 11, and then down heading into the fourth by 13. But Illinois just absolutely dominates this fourth quarter, outscores Rutgers by 15, and win it 96 to 68.